This tutorial is going to show you how to make a clean version of a song using Audacity. Audacity is an audio editing program that you can download for free. You can use it on a Mac or you can use it on a PC. So it's really, really great piece of software. The first thing you're going to need is an MP3 of the file that you want to edit. So I have an MP3 of Wiz Khalifa when I see you again, which I'm going to drag into the Audacity window. You drag it into the window and it gives you the wave file of it. If I press play, you can hear it. So let's say in order to clean this, I wanted to take out the word damn from the song. Damn. Oh, no. Right there he says damn. I'm going to zoom in by hitting the zoom function. And what's really cool about Audacity is it actually zooms wherever you have clicked. So if I have clicked right here and I want to zoom in, it's going to center around there. And we're going to find exactly in the audio where he says damn. damn. So right here. Damn. 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 So we have this piece of audio right here is him saying damn. damn. So there are two ways that we can do this. One is we can click this button right here. And what this does is it silences the audio of the highlighted region. So if I have just that curse that I want silenced, highlighted, I can click that and it silences it without removing any time, which is really important for music. I've heard clean versions of songs where the word is literally just cut out and the audio is compressed, so you lose a beat of music. So this doesn't lose the beat. So obviously it creates silence, which is not desirable, but it gets rid of the swear. So if you're in a pinch and you don't mind having a tiny bit of silence there instead of a curse, that can be great. Another way you can do this, Another way you can do this where you don't get silence is you can try editing the audio so the swear is no longer recognizable. And I'm gonna do that by reversing the audio right here. So I'm gonna make sure that the section that I want is highlighted, which it is right now. I've just clicked and dragged. And then I'm gonna go to effect and I'm going to go to reverse. And I'm gonna click reverse and it's gonna reverse that chunk of audio. And it's cool because it keeps the beat going and you don't lose that time, you don't get silence, but you also don't get a curse in there. And I can't tell what he's saying there, but it's cool because it still has that pulse of the music. After that, just as with any audio file, you're going to export it, call it whatever you'd like, save it on your desktop, use it for whatever you need to use it for. Thanks for watching.